Paul Vallis sitting at 34%, Brandon Johnson at 20%. Now the date we're looking at is April 4th. That's the runoff when Chicago picks the new mayor. Now there are some major differences between the two remaining mayoral candidates from their approach to safety, schools, and support. Joining us live this morning, Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson. After advancing to the runoff, first of all, congratulations, Commissioner Johnson. I have to ask right off the top, did you get any sleep last night or have you been celebrating? Um, I did get a little bit of sleep, been celebrating, but um... I'm up early mostly because I have to get the kids off to school. So if you see a few tippy toes in the back, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're ready to, uh, to, to get right back at life. So, uh, but I'm very, very much humbled and grateful that the city of Chicago uh, believes that my leadership can bring a better, stronger state for Chicago. Two things stood out in your victory speech last night as you were one of the top two vote getters. You said, first of all, that a couple months ago, a lot of folks didn't know who you are, but if they don't know, now they know. You also said you want to be a mayor for everyone, even those who didn't support you up to this point. How do you plan on winning their backing and the runoff? Look, I'm going to move all around the city of Chicago and bring our message of, of hope um, and uh, campaign off of the, the dreams and hopes and the desires of the people of Chicago. Um, the politics of old that have left families behind, and, uh, the type of politics that plays to fear and intimidation, uh, we're going to retire that structure and that system. And I'm grateful to have a multicultural, multi-generational movement that has put me in this position. Um, as you know, I've served as a public school teacher here in Chicago, an organizer, and I've had the, the distinct honor of serving as a Cook County Commissioner, uh, passing multi-billion dollar budgets, and uh, working with my colleagues all over Cook County. And so I'm confident that my leadership is going to usher in a better, stronger, safer Chicago. You talked about Chicago being a tale of two cities, and you want to change that. We know Chicago very segregated. Mm -hmm. What's number one on your priority list when it comes to making some progress in that area? Yeah, and I, I believe in order to have a, a safe city, we have to do what safe American cities do all over this country, and that's invest in people. Uh, public safety and crime in this city has has been just detrimental and harmful to all of us. Um, I'm raising my family right here on the west side of Chicago, and I love the west side of Chicago. I love the, the Austin community, and it has been one of the more violent neighborhoods in the entire city. And so I have tremendous incentive uh, to make sure that what I want for my family, I want for every single family across the city, and that requires us to invest in youth employment. That requires us um, to promote 200 more detectives within the rank and file. That requires us to invest and spend uh, to enact a consent decree. Uh, opening up mental health centers. And so it's a variety of things because obviously th these challenges are very complex, but we can get at the root causes and deal with the immediacy of the, of the violence in the city of Chicago. And I'm very much committed um, uh, to doing just that. Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson, again, congrats on advancing to the runoff coming up on April 4th as you'll face off against Paul Vallis to become the next mayor of Chicago. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, and thanks to further the other gentleman for that dad joke. I'll use that one this morning, so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. We do want to mention that we did reach out to Paul Vallis's campaign mm -hmm. to ask him to come on for an interview. We have not heard back on that. Yeah, we want to have equal time for yes. sure as we move forward.